Being aware of the length of the car and the width. Well, <laughs> should, should, should we have a... <laughs> should, 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 should we... Oh, Stephen, you are straight after all. No, of course I am, you silly goose. I just needed the right kind of working class girl, that's all. Now I'm winkle heavy. <laughs> Direct from the mouthpiece on Lord Snooty's giant poisonous electric massive head. He has a sister in Toronto who's a nurse. It's Stephen Fry. <laughs> Did you enjoy that introduction? Hugely. That was special for you. Can you tell people why that was special for you? Well, it was full of Bonzo Doggery. There's a wonderful <laughs> band called the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. Who you love and worship to this they day. They were. They were the Bonzo God Band to me when I was small. Would they still be your favourite band? I think so. OK. Their leading member, Sir Vivian Stanchel, died horribly a year yeah. or so ago. You, 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 did you model yourself on him, would you say? Sort of. His voice. His voice is very similar to yours. It was like a valve from an old wireless set. Oh, was it really, Steve? It really was. Wish we could get down there. Dust. Wish I could join you down there. You can come down there with me later, darling. <laughs> OK, so you got a book out at the moment, and you got a film out at the moment. Yes, I'm being a whore. Which is the best? <laughs> Wait, well, if you want to give yourself less than two hours, joy, pleasure, excitement, love, uh, the film. Right. If you want to give yourself a week's erotic stimulation, the book. Which are you happiest with? Oh, that's a toughie. I don't know. They're so different, you see, because the film is, well, it's a film, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm in it, and so I have, to look, <laughs> I have to look at myself. You know what it's like. It's, just here. it's a film and he's in it. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. But you know, you, know, you know when you hear your voice on an answer phone, how yeah. horrible it is? Everybody, you hate your voice on an answer phone, don't you? Yeah. Well, Will, I imagine it times a thousand, seeing your face as well. Will doesn't have a message on his answer phone because of that, no. Yeah. See, see, you and Will have a lot in... Hey. <laughs> hey, you do, you do, you do. It, you do. It. I have a larger bottom. Okay. <laughs> if you if you were taking Oscar Wilde, who who, who is your hero? Is he your out and out hero? I would say so. Him and Vivian Stanshaw together yeah, or together. Oscar? Okay. If you had to take him out for a night on the town, yeah. Oscar Wilde tonight, mm -hmm. what kind of night would you give him? <sighs> Blimey, is that another question. good question? It, it's an awful question because <laughs> I don't have an immediate answer. Um, I suppose I would I would stick to London. Yeah. You know, I mean, the other towns are gorgeous, but I think we'd probably give, say, Huddersfield a miss this time. Right. Um, <laughs> we'd start in a bar, and I'd have a whiskey sour. Why? Because I enjoy them very much. Okay. <laughs> All right? Fine. But I would say I don't recommend children under 18 drinking whiskey sours, because otherwise the bloody Daily Mail will write an article about me telling me <laughs> how bloody irresponsible I am. So don't drink them unless you want to. I mean, no, don't ever at all. It's likely, <laughs> even at all, even a bit, unless your mother tells you you can. Oh, God, I'm in trouble already. From the bottle. There's going to be a big article tomorrow. He recommends alcohol to young people. And I don't, really, at all. Um, it's very, very hard. So, um, a whiskey sour, a whiskey sour, no illegal drugs whatsoever. Yeah. Um, at all. When, Absolutely not. And after that? A disprin, possibly, at okay. most. Um, <laughs> we'd, pop a, we'd pop a disprin, right. and then we'd be really pumping, wouldn't we? You'd be pumping and humping, yeah, love, we, wouldn't we? Would, we would. We'd be so slamming. You, so you'd have a bar, you'd go to a bar, you'd have a drink with him. Yeah. Restaurant? Would you go to a restaurant? I probably would go to a restaurant, yes, yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd go to one which served food. Mm. Um, uh, there are a number of high quality restaurants all around London. I'd go to one that served not foie gras, because last time I was on here, do you remember, I mentioned foie gras. Yeah. And I had a lot of bad mail about that. Right. So I go to one, because I chose marshmallows instead. So I don't know if there are any marshmallow restaurants in London, but that's but where that's I go. But that's where you go. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, would you go back to your place, what would you do? <sighs> Some light sex, I suppose. Oh! <laughs> with, with Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, do you fancy Oscar Wilde? Uh, with a mind like that, it's impossible not to. And do you think he'd fancy you? I very much doubt it. Oh. Oh. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think you're probably right. <laughs> no, I think, I, think, I, think, I think you definitely would. So, so the film's out, and uh, I do want to talk about it a bit more because uh, we want to show a clip of it, if that's all right. Lovely, lovely. Okay, here's a little clip of Stephen's brand new film. Uh -huh. It's a wonderful play. My cousin, Lord Alfred Douglas, is here. He would very much like to congratulate you. Oscar, this is Bosie Douglas. We met last year. Lionel brought me to tea at Tite Street. 
How could I possibly forget? I love your play. The audience didn't know whether you meant your jokes or not. You shocked them, especially with your speech. But the more frivolous you seem, the more serious you are, aren't you? I love that. Thank you. I always say the young are the only critics with enough experience to judge my work. Exactly. Very good. I've not, I've not actually seen it yet, but it looks, looks good to me. Yeah. Now, um, Will, our oh, wheel. Mm -hmm. Wheel. Wheel. Get on very well, don't you? He's a very nice man, a very intelligent man. He may not appear it, but he's a very intelligent <laughs> man. But you do get on really yes. extremely well. And whenever you two are together and I'm in your company, I don't get a look in. I mean, they are <laughs> eye to eye, this intellectual banter going on. I haven't got a clue. I don't know what it's all but about. You must find a lot. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, such a... Oh, see, they start getting jousted. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, but, but Will, Will has seen the film, and he was jealous of the guy, the young guy. Not, because, not in a sexual way. Well, I don't know, maybe in a sexual way. I've got no idea. But he thought he could have, he could have been that part. He thought he could have been that. a bosey. Yeah. He could be a bosey. Well, you know, if he took the glasses off. Lost ten years. OK, oh, come on. No. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's see if he could be a bosey. All right. All right, let's see. Wonderful play. My cousin Lord Alfred Douglas is here. He would very much like to congratulate you. <laughs> Oscar, this is Bosey Douglas. We met last year while we were walking at a tea at Tite Street. How could I possibly forget? I love your play. The audience didn't know whether you meant your jokes or not. You shocked them, especially with your speech. The more frivolous you seem, the more serious you are, aren't you? I love that. Thank you. I always say the young are the only critics with enough experience to judge my work. Splendid. Easy, Oscar. You're getting the horn. <laughs> Good, good. I'm glad you like that. I thought that was very funny. I thought that was one of the funniest things we've ever done. Uh, uh, uh. Would you ever want kids? Well, do you know, I would in a way, yes. I mean, I love children. I've got lots of godchildren and, and nephews and things. And children are lovely things. I think they're lovely little chaps. But in order to, to, to have kids, you have to... I am aware of the procedure. The right. usual <laughs> procedure. So you're not going to have kids? Um, it's unlikely at the moment, but never say never. You okay. Know, never say if never. you had to marry a woman mm -hmm. tomorrow, you had to marry one. And that's mm -hmm. one of those stupid questions. Which it is. Get, another one to. of your stupid questions. But if yes. you had to marry one <laughs> yes. tomorrow, which woman would you marry and why? I mean, this is, isn't it? I mean, good heavens. Um, hello. Ah. Oh. Um, well, there's some very nice ladies here. Um, it would have to be, obviously, somebody who could understand my difference, my other nature, my strange requirements. Porridge, for example, I have to have in the morning. You have to have that. I idea. love porridge, yes. Yeah. So could you pin a name on it? Them. Top five women, top three um, women? Well, most of them are dead. Audrey Hepburn, obviously, Judy Garland, You're Doris into Day. You're dead people, aren't you? Well, not necessarily, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> most of them are alive. Um, I like shortish women um, with cropped hair and small bottoms and no breasts. <laughs> so if, if you had... If, <laughs> if, you mean men? <laughs> <laughs> if you had... <laughs> If you had to place a, a, an ad in a Lonely Hearts column yeah. and just describe yourself in five words... Look, if you want advice on this subject, ask a professional. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would your five words be? Um, small, friendly, smiley, yeah. gentle, yeah. kind. Good. <laughs> OK. You've got uh, homes in New York now. As well. You've got a home in New York, London and Norfolk. Mm. Uh, the one in Norfolk... Is it near a, royal, a member of the royal family's house? Is, is that right? Well, it's not too far from Sandingham. Yeah. Right. And is it true that you once invited Prince Charles round for afternoon tea? Uh, he actually invited himself round, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. So he came round? Mm -hmm. Did you have a chat? Mm -hmm. What about? Mm -hmm. Go on, tell us! <laughs> I'm the soul of discretion. I'm the soul of discretion. Our life... Did you get on? Very, terribly well. Yeah. Hard not to. Nice bloke? Terribly nice. Bloke. Okay. Much right. misunderstood, rather yeah. like yourself. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> what, are, what are the great questions in life, do you think? Are there any great questions uh, that you ponder all the time? Questions I ponder? Yes, I suppose so. Why it is that we live in a world where people seem to think we have to live on rails? 
No, you may say that's a strange thing to say. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but then the other day, a journalist said to me, oh, a couple of years ago, you went off the rails, didn't you? And I started to say yes, and I suddenly thought, who the hell wants to live on rails? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on rails. Do you want to live on rails? <laughs> we should all live off the rails. Right. And we live in a world in which people think you should be on rails. We live by a rule book that no, to which nobody knew who wrote it. Exactly. Yeah. The Daily Bloody Mail. That's <laughs> bloody Are you all right with the Daily Mail? Have you got a... I think the Daily Mail is the single most purulent, festering sore in this country. <laughs> okay. When you were when you were ickle, because yeah. you, you were once not this giant, you were once quite small. Mm -hmm. um, you, you'd learnt the Guinness Book of Records off by heart. Mm, yes, ish. What, what was your, what's your favourite record? In the uh, it was Hiccups, I think. <laughs> Do you remember it? <laughs> it was favourite Hiccups for nine years, six months, and seventeen days. Um, and he tried everything. He tried everything. He tried everything going boo. Uh, <laughs> and in a slightly subtle surprise of people not going boo. Right. Uh, none of this worked. Eventually, a prayer to St Jude. Worked. Who's, Did it? As you know, the patron saint of lost. Causes. I know all those things, of course. Mm. I'm the most intelligent man you've ever. Yeah. So um, you can't sing, which is the great thing in life that you hate. It always saddened me that I could never Would you like sing. to have a go? I'll have a go with you if I know the song. Okay, you know this song. Okay, right. you can mime if you don't want to sing. Um, you can I mime. I well. All right. Okay. This is, this is. This is cool the Tanya. Cool. Take a trip. Britannia, Britannia, you are who? Take a trip. Britons ever, ever, ever shall be hip, hippy, hippy. Hip, bop, bop, bop. Just now, Stephen, put your arms around me. This is the impossibly gorgeous.